What's next for you, Coach? I know you are currently training Marcus Brown. I believe is yeah. an yeah. Olympian, yeah. former yeah. Olympian, yeah. right? Yeah. He's going to be fighting Arthur Better Be at uh, 175. What's your thoughts on that? How's he training? I'm happy, man. He's looking good. He's about 14 rounds a day. So um, I'm happy, man. You know, he has some new guys to spar with. And um, looking forward to it. I mean, I think that Better Be is a big challenge. A great opposition. I'm just looking forward to it. I mean, I think that this is something that he needs. And I'm with him, man. I'm just happy he moved, he moved to Dallas. So he's not not a transit. He moved to Dallas. Oh. To, uh, to train. Yeah, so it's beautiful. Hey, man, I'm hearing great things, man. I'm hearing that he's sparring with Grand Prairie's very own, Listo right, yeah, Gaetan, man. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your thoughts on Listo as a like uh, up-and-coming prospect? I like him, man. I've like, never seen him before. I like him. I've seen him fight. And then spar. Doing a great job. And that's awesome, man. It's always great when we get home base guys, Dallas, Grand Prairie, everybody helping each other. Let's try and uh, get it to that next level, man. Right, right. My last question to you, coach, is um, Virgil Ortiz Jr. recently was ranked number one by the WBC. Obviously, another hometown kid. We're all Dallas boys. You know, we show love to Earl Spence Jr., coach uh, Virgil Ortiz. Both of you guys have a mutual respect for one another. I know they speak highly of you, too, coach. Do you foresee that fight ever happening in the future? Possibly. Whether it be at welterweight or super uh, uh, welterweight, maybe at Cowboy Stadium. It could possibly be that, man. You never know, man. I think that that that, that situation, putting him in that position. That's right. It's going to have to happen probably eventually being number one. Man, that's going to be a great fight, Coach. Right. Look, man, we appreciate your time. Uh, you always show love to our last Sicily boxer, man. You know we always rock with you, Coach. One of the best trainers in the world. Any last shout-outs you want to give to any of your friends, any of your fans, any of your family that's back man, home and watching? Just send love to everybody, man. Friends, family, and all the fans, man, for sure, man. It's your boy Jimmy Blue, Mr. All Access Elite Boxing, signing out with one of the best trainers in the world, Coach Derek James.